Mungu kwa muda kama huu. I thank God for this moment. Tafadhali mtafsiri uende na mimi kabisa leo. Haleluya. Najua ungali katika roho lakini baki katika roho lakini sauti kainuke. Haleluya. Nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu usiku wa leo. I thank God because this night wakati nilikuwa nikiombea ibada hii when i was praying for this um, service masira ya asubuhi kabisa kama saa sa 8 ya usiku around 2 a.m. bwana akanibeba katika kiwango fulani the lord took me in a div- different dimension na katika kile kiwango ambacho mungu alinibeba in the dimension that he took me to ilikuwa kulingana na topic yetu ya mwaka huu it was uh, about the topic of this ambaye nasema kuenda kwenye viwango vingine. Uh, which says moving into the next level. Na nikaenda kuona ya kwamba and I I realized that ikibaki tu vile imeandikwa hapo. If it just stays as is written. Tutakuwa na isoma kwamba tunaenda viwango vingine. We read it as uh, we are going in the, into the next level. Na tutafika mwisho wa mwaka and we reach the end of the year. Na viwango vinabaki vile vile. And the levels will remain the same. Na unajua wengi sana. And we know that most of us. Wanapozungumza juu ya viwango. When, when they speak about levels. Wengi wanaona manyumba. As others see wengi, houses. Wengi wanaona magari. They see cars. Wengi wanaona county zao zikibadilika. They see account there. Lakini change. mimi ninaona viwango vingine. But for me I see Ambazo ni viwango vya kiroho. Amen. Hey, kwa sababu katika kiroho ndio kunazalika vitu vyote vyote vinavyoonekana vilianzia katika roho Biblia inasema ya kwamba Mungu akasema tumufanye mtu Let's make yani mtu alikuwa kwanza ndani ya mawazo ya Mungu. Kabla ule mtu aonekane. Kabla hii dunia ionekane. Ilikuwa ka somewhere. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba vilivyo vinatoka katika visivyoonekana. Comes from what it's not seen. Ile ulimwengu wa kiroho. The uh, the spirit reign. Ile a, a spiritual realms ile yeah, the a, kiwango spirit, ya kiroho. The spiritual reign. Ni pale Mungu anatutaka. That's where the Unajua Lord kanisa is. letu You know that our kanisa church, la Marekani, the American church, ni kanisa ambalo limetoka ndani ya roho. It's a, it is it's a church that Na saizi wanatembea katika mwili. And they walk in the flesh. Na kitu ya kushangaza and, and something that's very amazing. Sisi tuliokuwa wa kiroho pale jana. Us who were spiritual yesterday. Tulikuwa watu wa kiroho. We were spiritual. Tulikuwa people. naona maono ya kiroho. We could see visions. Tulikuwa na nena kwa lugha. We could speak Tulikuwa na tabiri. We could tulikuwa prophesy. naomba masaa. We could pray for hours. Lakini tumefika hapa. But we got here kaingia katika mwili. And we went we we went in the in the flesh. Na Paulo akalia sana. And Paul cried. Kwa li, kwa ajili ya watu wa Galatia. Akasema nani amewaroka? And ask who who Na swali hii naiuliza kanisa la Cleveland. And this and this question I ask uh, Nani amewaroka? Who bewitched you? Mwanzie katika roho. To start to begin from the spirit. Na mumalizie katika mwili. And finish in those in the flesh. Kwa nini mwanzie katika roho? Mnafikia ndani ya mwili. And, and then, uh, Sa hizi kama the, vile unapii umesema just like the, the watu hawako tena ndani wamekuwa ndani ya ukawaida. Umekuwa kanisa huko na chat huko natumia watu ma message. Huko na analia ku Facebook vile watu wamevaa unaenda kwa TikTok ndani ya kanisa. Yaani the glory of God is God. Utukufu wa Mungu umepotea tukufu wa Mungu ni kama imeenda. The glory of God yani is like it's gone. hiyo kama inaitwa Ichabod. We are living in a in a in a Kitu place where Kitu inaitwa Ichabod. In Ichabod where there's no Neno lile Ichabod. The the word Ichabod. Ni wakati wana wa Israeli waliona sanduku ya Bwana ikaenda wakasema leo utukufu wa Mungu umefanya nini? When the Israel Israel. people saw The, the, na the sisi tunachoka na tukubali tena ukawaida katika kanisa hili. Kwa sababu hatuwezi bakia hapa kila siku tukia ibada, kila siku tukia ibada, tukia Sunday, tuvae makoti, turudia kunyumba, tunakia Sunday, tunavaa makoti, tunarudia nyumbani, wengine wanakia na masipere zao, wanakia kanisani na wanarudi, lakini we need a change. Tunahitaji mabadiliko. Sisi lazima vibadilike. Things must change. Lazima vitu vibadilike. Hii ni muda kwenda kwenye viwango vingine na Bwana akasema ndani ya Deuteronomy in the in the Deuteronomy kumbukumbu la Torati mwanzo 6 ambayo ni Deuteronomy 1:6 Bwana akasema hivi The Lord said 
Bwana akasema The Lord said L'Éternel Dieu nous parla à Horeb. Bwana akatuambia pale Horeb akasema mumekaa hapa kwa muda mrefu. Mumekaa pale pamoja kwa muda mrefu. We uh, you you've dwelled here for a long time. Yaani maisha yenu imebaki mahali pamoja, ime stuck. Your life is stuck on one place. Na hapa kwenye ule mlima, ile mlima inaitwa Barnes eh, Kades Barnea. And that mountain is called here it says Sinai. Yeah, hapo walikuwa wakizunguka kwa mlima unaoitwa Kades Barnea. Okay. Yaani wana wa Israeli walikuwa wametoka Misri. That means uh, the people from Israel came from uh, Egypt. They lifted their hands up. They saw how the, the sea uh, divided. And they praised God for saving. Just like you, beloved in Christ, you came from Uganda. Uganda. You went to Uganda. Rwanda. You went to Rwanda. Burundi. In Burundi. Kenya. In Kenya. And you thanked God. Kenya. And in Kenya. Burundi. In Burundi. And you trusted God. To open ways. So you can come to America. America. When you come to America. You come to America. It's like you now the and, and you dance and you cry. And that's how most of us here, when they get to this country, they praise God, they worship God. When the time goes on, they, they slow down in spirit. They when you wanna go to a kanisani, people come here to church, vizuri, and they say, "Why are you not praying?" When you look at them six months no later, they also join the. Lakini le chamba na pidi mo leo sampa. But that's one thing you need to understand. Wakati mungu na kubeba kwenye viwango vingi. When you want to see to the next level, kuna mapepo pia viwango vingi. Yeah, there are demons in. in kuna the sile mapepo luko mezi pika Uganda. There are the demons you fought in Uganda. Na luko mezi shinda. And you can't fight them. Lakini samarekani. But the ones in America, these other demons. And if you want to be victorious in, a, in, in, in the next dimension, you have to pray in a different dimension. That's why I always say, if you used to pray for one hour in Kenya, or Uganda or Tanzania, or Burundi, now it's time to pray for hours. But if I ask here, people, you have to pray for one hour. For how long do you pray? It's the praise you pray when you open your eyes and you just go to work. People don't have time to sit in the Lord's presence and to seek to seek knowledge from what God wants in your life. Beloved in Christ, if you don't go to the next level, we will just become a regular religion. And we'll be victims. Then, kanisa ni takuwa sasa kanisa. It will be the church will become a church. Lakwa zakuwa tu pale kuselebrate ibada zakuzika watu. Kwa sababu, shetane mechukua usikani. To celebrate death because because the devil has taken over. Mimi ndani ya moyo wangu niko revolte. In my heart, I'm. Niko mu revolt. I don't need to be here. I'm fighting. I don't to be in this dimension anymore. I don't want to stay in the usual range. If you're going to stay there, we're asking you. We're asking you also to move and to go to the next level. You take your time in things that are not usual, that are not necessary. Today, beloved, we're going to talk about seven keys that will take us into the next level. It's not just seven keys. There's a lot of keys. Just like the lady, just like Mama uh, uh, prophesied. The Lord uses people uh, with their own grace. We don't have to compete when it comes to the word. What's there is for everyone to respect everyone's anointing. When you, when you respect the anointing of the other, it will be uh, onto you. Hallelujah. Well. You tap into it. Beloved in Christ, in these seven keys, there is one big key. And that key is the master key. 
And that one big key is called the master key. La clé principale. The master key. Unajua unaweza kuwa na nyumba yako. You know you can have your house. Kila room unaweza kuwa na kifungu yake. Every room I has my house. Lakini kuna kile kifungu kwenye kinafungua kama report. But there is that one key that opens every door. Hiyo mlango ambaye inafungua mahali pote. That key that opens every door. Hiyo ndio tunaita the master key. That's the one we call the master key. Kifunguo usijui ndio kitaachi kwa Kiswahili. I don't know how I can call it in Swahili. Okay mnaelewa then kifungua kifungua passport bwana yeah. sifu. The key that opens all the doors. Nitaenda kuzungumza juu ya vifunguo. I'm going to speak Lakini about keys. Lakini kabla nizungumze juu ya vile vifunguo. But before I speak about those keys. Kuna kile kifunguo passport to the, the there's, master key. There's that master key. Nile kifunguo ambaye inaitwa inaitwa master key. That key that's called ma, the master key. Iko ndani ya Mathayo 6. It's in Matthew 6. 33. 33. Tafuteni ufalme wa Mungu. Seek the kingdom of God. Na haki yake. Na and, vyote vita ongezwa and everything will be added mu. onto you Matthew 3 6:33 kwanza ufalme wa Mungu na haki yake seek the kingdom of god na above all else vyote vita ongezwa kwenu and live righteously and he will give you everything you need katika Bwana beloved in christ funguo ya kwanza ya maisha the first key of life kama hapa marekani like here in america unataka uende kwenye kiwango kingine and you want to go to the next level kama katika maisha yako if in your life unatarajia viwango vingine you are expecting to go to the next level you must key kabla nizungumze fungu vifunguo ya kwanza pili na tatu before before i speak about other keys tafuta kwanza ufalme wa mungu the kingdom of god first ufalme wa mungu ndiye kuwa priority the kingdom of god should i mean the yeah kingdom of god should be the your priority ufalme wa mungu ndiye kuwa kitu chako cha kwanza Kenya unafikiria kabla ya chochote kile. Think of before anything else. Unapoamka when you wake up. Tafuta kwanza ufalme wa Mungu. the kingdom of God first. Lakini ukiamka leo but when you wake up today, kitu ya kwanza the first thing ni simu yako. It's your phone. Facebook. Facebook. TikTok. TikTok. Asubuhi in the morning. Hata kama ni 5 am even if it's 5 am asubuhi mapema uko tiktok early in the morning hata ukishtuka usiku ukishtuka tu usiku na usingizi kana kupotea when you, you wake up in the middle of the night you go on facebook sisi tulipokuwa tukilelewa katika mambo ya Mungu when we were being raised in the things of God, they told us walikuwa wanatufunza hivi usingizi bwana nataka uombe when you you can sleep that means god wants you to pray wana kuambia unafika imefika saa saba usiku usiku when it's like 3 a.m. usingizi unapotea unajaribu kulala unatafuta usingizi haipatikani hiyo ni muda wa maombi ndio walimu wetu wa chumba ya maombi walitufunza ya kwamba ukiona muda kama hiyo bwana anataka uombe in that time that means god wants you to wewe unabaki pale facebook ukisema nilikuwa pale ndio nitapata ka usingizi maybe if i stay on facebook i'll sleep beloved in christ atakutafuna mwa hii the devil will eat you alive in this country na ninaogopa kusema kile nilikuwa nikisikia. And I'm scared to say what I, I heard. Wengi a lot of us. Hapa Marekani. A lot, a lot of people here in America. Hata wanaanza kuzikwa. They will find themselves being buried. Kwa sababu wamepoteza kilicho cha muhimu. Because they've lost the most important Vita thing. Vita yetu wapendwa. Zimekuwa mbili sasa. Our fight is Wa Marekani wanapigana na Marekani yao. The Americans fight with the America. Lakini si. But us. Tuko kwanza na vita ya kule. We are fighting uh, na tuna vita ya Marekani. Our own fight. Sasa mapepo kama ilikuwa kama kule Kongo kulikuwa 1000. If in Congo we had 100 kungana 1000 za Marekani. They come and met. Wao na wao saka bitu to survive hapa Marekani. Do you think you will survive just like that in this country? Wapendwa katika Bwana. Beloved in Christ. This is a call of God. Ene wito wa Mungu. Amuka katika usingizi. Wake up in your sleep. Amuka katika usingizi. Wake up in your sleep. Ni wakati wa kutafuta Mungu. It's time to to seek God. Anasema tafuta kwanza ufalme wa Bwana. The Bible says this is seek the kingdom of God. Seek the presence of God. Ene wakati wa kutafuta like Mungu. Never before. Mungu. Kama hujawahi kufanya hivyo. sauti ya Bwana. This the word of God. Na kama unaisikia, Mungu akubariki. God bless you. Na kama usikie, kesho utakuja kujuta. Tomorrow you're This is a time to wake up. 
even ni wakati ya wakati ya 2022 kama ulikuwa ndani ya kiwango fulani ya maombi if you were in a in a mwaka jana ulikuwa hausomi hata biblia if last year you mwaka jana hata sasa hizi nikaeuliza watu walihubiri sande nini if i ask people what did i preach watu wafikiria tajua maubiri iliyopita people don't even make watu wamesahau nikuuliza sande mubiri alisema nini watu wamesahau kanisa limekuwa la kawaida tunaenda katika ukawaida tunahubiri katika ukawaida Yaani maupiri yetu mekauka iko seki kwa theology. Yeah, our preaching is has become theological. Yaani siko iko dry. It's dry. There is no God in it. Imefika wakati yenye kanisa la Bwana. It has reached moment where. Mtu akianguka hapa tutapiga 99911 wakuja kutafuta. Bwana. Hakuna tena zile nguvu za kuamsha wagonjwa. There is no Imagine ibada ya Yesu, Yesu kwa ndani ya ibada. Imagine when Jesus is in a in a in a service. And someone falls and we call 911. Where's where's the power? Where did the power go? At the homa hatuponye homa tumeshindwa kuipona. Inabidi tu twende tu kwa CVS. Even even a cold we have to go on CVS. To CVS. Makamasi inakutosha unashindwa ku sasa wakati kansa itakuja wewe unaanza kutakuzika. When cancer will come we will bury you. Kama hauwezi ku deal na kansa. Nani na homa? Kichwa kichwa hauwezi ku deal nayo. A headache you can't deal with it. Tutakuzika tu. Kansa ingekuja kuna because acha niwaambie wapendwa katika Bwana usiwaze wakati utakuwa umekuwa kwenye kitanda kwa hospitali ndio pale sasa utaenda wakati uko pale ndio vitu vingine za kuwa ni muujiza lakini maisha yako ile ambayo hiyo hiyo depo ambayo umeweka leo imani ambayo umejenga leo ndio itakutetea siku ngumu ambayo inafika that's the one that will fight for you maombi yako ya jana uliomba pengine Afrika ulifunga na ukaomba imekusukuma kwa muda fulani lakini ile reservoir ambayo uliweka imeanza kuisha inataka tena reservoir ingine your 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 safe or your reserve my my empty yani hiyo yani nasema hivi maombi ambayo unafanya leo ile mafungo yako siku tatu siku 20 inaweza inaweza kusukuma hata miaka 5 it can push you to five years lakini wakati na nafika miaka 5 inaanza kuisha but when you reach the five years ni kama ukiweka mafuta kwa gari it's like when you put oil in the car it can take you to new york lakini ukifika new york inabidi tena uweke mafuta when you get to new york you need to add ambayo inakusukuma tena mahali unataka kuenda lakini wakristo wengi walikuja wako na magari They came with a with a Ndio miaka tano tunawaona bado wangali. When you see them you see yeah they still have it. They're still Christians. Lakini ile reservoir iko nende kuna kwa. But their reserve is going to be wengi sana hapa kwetu. And most of us hiyo tire red imewaka tayari kwa gari yako ya kiro. That red that red light is already on. Kunahitaji recharge. They are telling you uh, you need to be recharged. Ni wakati wa kuingia katika mafungu. It's time to fast. Ni wakati wa kuomba. It's time to pray. Ndio maana niko naomba kanisa hili. That's why I'm asking this church tuwe na hata muda wa maombi lakini tunaweza ku plan maombi lakini unajikuta pale peke yako lakini wapendwa katika bwana isiyo mambo kusema no maombi yangu watu wangu vitu i don't want to say uh, this, my prayer my people tunapaswa kuomba tunahitaji watu wakuja sa, sa, saturday kuomba we need people to come here on saturday watu ambao wanatafuta mungu people who are seeking the presence of god watu ambao hawako pale kwa ajili ya utukufu wao people who are not there for their glory watu wako pale kwa ajili ya utukufu wao who are there for the glory of god bwana kasema katika isaia the lord said in isaia 46 Uh, mstari wa 19, 19 anasema sijawahi ambia watu wangu wanitafute kwa bure I've never asked one second Isaiah 46 46 19 19 masemaje 46 19 yep. I don't have 19 Isaiah 46 ngoja niangalie hapo akasema sijawahi ambia watu wangu Munitafute kwa bure kama sio Isaiah itakuwa ni itakuwa ni psalm unajua hizo sometimes na kwanga zina to confuse yeah. 46 na kama atupate atutaacha tubaki hapo 
Bwana akasema sijawahi ambia angalia kwanza 46:19 Psalm There is no 19. Okay. Well. Hiyo verse ni, ni kama nilikonfuse hapa lakini Bwana akasema sijawahi ambia watu wangu mwele tafute. I've never asked my people to seek me for nothing. Sasa. Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe kanisa la Bwana. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe kanisa la Bwana. Praise God Church of God. We need to pray. Tunahitaji kuomba. Tunatafuta inataka tutafute uwepo wa Mungu. We need to seek the face of the presence of God. Kama vile hatujawahi mtafuta. Like never before. 2023. 2023. Mungu anatuambia ikiwa asubuhi wa mwaka. The Lord tells us in the morning. Wakati wa kuomba. It's time to pray. Ni wakati wa kuomba. It's time to pray. Ni wakati wa kuomba. It's time to pray. The master key hiyo kifunguo kikubwa. The master key. Tafuta kwanza ufalme wa Mungu. Uh, seek the kingdom of God. Na vingine vyote. And everything else. Magari, cars, manyumba, homes, houses, watoto, kids, pesa, money, connection, connection. Utazipata. You get it. Nikiendelea If I continue ili tuende kiwango kingine to go to the next level kifunguo ya kwanza sasa hiyo ilikuwa nikizumuzia master key i was speaking about the master key now we're going kifunguo ya kwanza ili uende kwenye kiwango kingine the first key to take you to the next level ni ile desire is the desire kwa Kiswahili desire apotre kama shauko Shauku ile Kiswahili mnaelewa kweli haikuwa Kiswahili ngumu sana. Haja. Okay. Sasa mimi nitaisema mu français, mimi nasema désir. Hallelujah. Desire. Jo mu Kiswahili itakuwa Kiswahili imekuwa ya Tanzania, kumekuwa ya Kongo. Na Burundi nayo imetokea na mwingine atasema hata ya Rwanda nayo pia. And there's a Kiswahili from Rwanda. Hauwezi kuenda kwenye kiwango kingine. You cannot go to the next level. Kama haujatamani. If you have if you don't have desire. Yaani las kama unataka uende u move to ne, next level. Uende kwa next level. If you want to move level, to the next level. Lazima kwanza you must utamani kuenda kiwango. You must desire something. If you can't desire it, you cannot have it. Kama hauwezi kuitamani, hauwezi kuipata. Lazima utamani u, u, you must desire it. Mwelewe Kiswahili yangu kama nitasema tamani na kuwa kitu kingine lakini ni naona I say that and in Swahili lazima, it sounds something else. Lazima uwe na na hiyo tamaa hiyo hiyo kuta uhitaji wa kuenda kwenye desire to go to the next level. Ndio maana atakuhusu gharama za Roho Mtakatifu anasema That's why even when it comes to the to the spiritual things Desire place, to prophesy uwe utendeshe prophet is kama hauna tamani ya ku Mama umesema Kiswahili gani tena nimesahau Eh kama hauna hiyo itaji nataka nianze kutabiri kile kiwango nataka ni nianze kuomba kile kiwango or to pray in a different dimension inaanzia kwa kutaka it start from the will the, the lazima desire. utamani hiyo kitu you need to desire it kama hautamani nguvu za roho maisha yako kama hautamani kwenda katika, life, katika viwango vingine vya kiroho katika maisha yako kama hautamani, level, kupata, eh, eh, kufika fulani, hautamani kupata kufika viwango fulani kama hautamani kupata kufika viwango fulani hautawahi pata kitu kenye utaki you will never get what you don't want lazima u kitu hiyo hiyo ndio funguo ya kwanza that's the first key lazima uitaji you need to desire lazima u, u, uwe na hiyo hiyo haja ndani mwako you need to have the need ya kusema mimi nataka niende kwenye kiwango kingine of saying that i need na ile hiyo tamaa iwe ndani mwako and that desire must be in your heart nataka ile iwe ndani mwako that must be in your heart lazima kwanza uchoke ukwe satisfied you na ile maisha ambayo uko ndani satisfied of the life you're living I want to have my own houses. It, it, it has to first be the desire of my heart. I want my account 
ipande viwango to go to the next level inabidi kwanza iwe kutaka ndani ya moyo it must be uh, i must desire it in my Ili heart hata bwana akutendee chochote even before the before god does something in your life alikuwa anakutana na vipofu uh, uh, he will meet blind people anakutana na na bartimae he met bartimae anamuuliza unataka nikutendee and he asked What do you want me to do for you? Bwana haone kwamba macho yangu iko kipofu si muona tayari hitaji. Lakini Bwana alipenda I express aseme kwamba Jesus want him to express it. Na nataka nione. He wanted him to say I want to see. Nimechoka kuwa mahali hapa. I'm tired of being here. Nimekaa hapa kwa muda mrefu. I've been here for a long time. Nimekuwa mtu wa kuombaomba muda mrefu. I've been asking for a long time. Biblia inasema ya kuwa The Bible says that wakati Bartimayo when Bartimayo aliposikia Yesu akapita. Walipomwambia ni Yesu. When I told him he was Jesus. Bartimayo akaanza kupiga kelele. He started yelling. Anamwambia mwana wa Daudi. A son of the of, of David. Ni rehemu. Oh forgive me. Mwana wa Daudi. Son of David. Ni rehemu. Forgive me. Najiuliza kwa nini aliomba rehemu? I asked why Yesu did he ask for forgiveness? Did he sin? Mtu mwanaweza nipatia jibu ya hiyo. The one who give me the answer to that. Nitampea 100 dollars. Okay, I'll give you the answer. Kwa nini? Why? Ni sawa. Kwa nini huyu mtu Why did this person said hakumuita Yesu tu akamwambia mwana wa Daudi son of David ni rehemu oh, yani kulikuwa kuna conflict fulani between yeye na ule mtu that means there was a conflict between him and, and Christ so for me the way i see it is that back in the days when you were uh, sick or like uh uh kidema or whatever you were considered uh unholy unclean mm-hmm. so before you when you know that you're speaking to the somebody son of holy. Day, holy so you have to ask for the the forgiveness so they can so he can receive the the forgiveness so he can be cleansed yoni haiko haiko at half lakini acha niende hivi bartelema nani eh bartime uh the the man bartime neno hile bartime Then that that the Bartimayo ina maanisha mtoto wa mfalme. That that name means uh, the son of a king. So a prince. Yaani ni mtoto wa mfalme, yaani alikuwa prince. Yeah, he was a prince. Yaani Bartimayo jina lake mtoto wa mfalme na Bartimayo alikuwa na ikala Jericho. And he he was in Jericho and he's a son of of a king. Samani amwache ni nifungue pale something. I want to open there something. Hallelujah. Amen. Alikuwa mwana wa mfalme lakini alikuwa iko naomba kwa barabara. Uh, he was a son of a king but Jina he was Bartimayo na maanisha mwana wa mfalme lakini iko naomba barabara. A son of a, of a king but he's uh, asking begging. Alikuwa kwanza kitu ya kwanza haonake. The first thing he couldn't see. Ya pili ni beggar mtu wa kuomba barabarani. He was a beggar. Wana wa mfalme ngapi hapa hawaone? Uh, how many of of uh, the uh, sons of kings who don't see nini ni wana wa mfalme lakini hamuone msione you are the sons of kings sione kile nilikuwa natarajia the mil vende sikuona 2022 i didn't see nilikuwa natarajia hiki sikuona nashukuru sana kwa pastor uh, uh, pastor valente aliona na kaona kwa viwango vingine lakini kuna wengi pastor saw, eh, eh, papa edmo alisimama hapa anasema matarajio yangu alikuwa clear unajua nene uwepo wa Mungu na bidii tuko wake nasema kweli kama alikwendeka unasema alikwendeka to be clear if you if he worked Unajua sasa tunaomba kwa watu anasema umepona anasema anaambia pasta tu nimesikia bie. Uh, kama unangaza sikia uchungu sasa Ama kama umeipokea kwa imani unasema ndio nasikia uchungu lakini nimepokea na mimi nimepata. Yes, lakini I kama uchungu uko stone tu uchungu bado But if you still feel pain just say it. Wana wengi wa mfalme waone. A lot of uh, the uh, Sasa huyu Bartimayo uh, alikuwa mwana wa mfalme. Was a son of a king. Na Yesu Kristo naye alikuwa mwana wa mfalme. Was a son of a king. Na akamwambia mwana wa Daudi yani Yesu alikuwa mwana wa mfalme Daudi. Uh, Jesus was a son of the king David. Lakini sasa Bartimayo alikuwa mwana wa mfalme gani? Was uh, uh, who's who was uh, 
Kwa sababu hapa tunakuta wana wa mfalme wawili. Yesu tayari wametuonesha baba yake mfalme Daudi. Lakini huyu Bartimayo alikuwa naishi Yeriko. Na ili ujue ujue kama yeye ni mwana wa mfalme gani? Inabidi ujue Yeriko ilikuwa sehemu ambayo ilipewa kwa kabila gani ya wana wa Israeli? Na ukiangalia hiyo 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 sehemu ya ya, ya nani ya, ya Yeriko ilipewa kwa wana wa Benjamin. When, when you, you check where the, the, the place Jericho was it was given uh, to Benjamin. Okay? Na ni nani ndio mfalme ambaye alitoka mkabila Benjamin? Who was the king who came from the 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 the, the tribe of Benjamin? Wakristo wasoma Biblia. Haleluya. Kuna mfalme mwa alitoka mkabila wafalme wote walitoka mkabila la Yuda lakini kuna mfalme mwa alitoka mkabila ya Benjamin. All the kings came from Judah but Mfalme Saul. Haleluya. But Saul came from yani, Benjamin. Kama huyu kijana ni mwana wa mfalme alikuwa naishi kwa kabila ya Benjamin alikuwa mtoto mjukuu wa Sauli. That means he was a grand a grandson of Saul. Na Sauli alitendea kama baya nani? Daudi. And Saul uh, wronged David. Na wakati mwana wa Daudi alikutana na mwana wa mwana wa Sauli alipokutana na mwana wa Yahudi kitu ya kwanza alisema kwanza ni rehemu. Alikuwa na tubu zambi za nani? Za baba. He was asking for forgiveness of his father. Nimepanga jibu na hiyo sa dolari inarudia kwangu mwenyewe. Bwana asifiwe. So I keep Ah nimefade marsha mrefu juu mpate jibu bwana asifiwe ile imepona kabisa haleluya amen sasa kitu yenye iko hapo so one thing that's huyu mwana wa mfalme this son of a king alikuwa amechoka na maisha yake was tired of his alitaka life aende kiwango chingine and wanted to go na tumesema kwa haraka kwamba and we said uh, fast ili uende kiwango chingine you to go to the next level lazima utake kuenda kile kiwango you need to have the desire Hauta to go to the next level kwa mungu, you can never get something from god If you didn't desire yes, it, Jesus asked Bartimaeo, Bartimaeo, yes, I forgive you. Why do you want me to do it? And he said, I want to be healed. And Jesus said, it shall be done according to the faith, according to the desire. If you want your, your prayer of life, the Holy Spirit will not come and touch you. Kasuke na kwanza kuomba. Lazima ku desire, kuwa hiyo desire, kuwa hiyo tamaa kutaka niombe. That prayer life. Haleluya. Amen. Jambo la pili. The second thing is. Kifunguo ya pili. The second key is. Ambayo inafungua na kutubu, ambayo na natubeba kwa viwango vingine the, ni ile ambayo tumezungumzia sana this the one we spoke about the most ma ombi is prayer ah ile ngine ile kwanza ilikuwa master ile ile kwanza ilikuwa kifunguo kubwa ile ile ni master ile ya kufungua fasi yote yani vitu vyote vinatembea kulingana na vyote viko chini ya ile kifunguo tafuta kwanza ufalme wa Mungu tunamtafuta kwa maombi haleluya tafuta ufalme wa Mungu Roma takatifu yani ule kutafuta ufalme wa Mungu lakini hivi kifunguo vingine viko chini ya kile kifunguo kifunguo ya kwanza ya pili and the first one is to desire ambia mwenyeko pembeni Tell your neighbor prayer. Maombi. Prayer. Tunaitaji mwe kanisa yetu tuwe na kundi la maombi. We need in this church to have a group of prayer people. Usingojele mchungaji kama mungu amekutia kwa ro anza anza. Ambi ya watu samdi ya subui witeru tu kwa apa kwa maombi to come on saturday so we can pray mimi ni kwa sababu niko mbali ningelikuwa niko hapa ningelikuwa tayari nimefungua maombi i would have opened ama wale wenye wanataka kama wanasema tunapenda tuwe na kundi tuanze kuomba hapa saturday hatutangoja mchungaji muniambie mkuje tukamate program tuanze maombi let's take a program and start praying tuanze kutana hapa tuweke virago hapa saturday tutafute bwana let's come here on saturday and seek the presence of god tunahitaji tuwe na kundi letu hapa la kuomba. We need to have our own 
prayer group. Tunakuja hapa kutafuta uso wa Mungu. We come here to seek the faith. Tusisikie tu na pii tunalala chini tukamate action. To the, to the to the prophecy and just sit. Let's take action. Tukitufungu tulale kumirago hapo tafuta Mungu. Let's sleep here and seek. Na ile kunde tu maombi tukua na maprogrami zetu za kufunga za kufanya makesha. Mimi niko tayari nitoke Akron nikuwa nakuja huko. I'm ready to come from Akron and come here. Saturday on Saturday. Wangapi wanatamani? So Saturday tuanze maombi. We should start on Saturday. Saturday kwa muda gani? In the morning. Ah ah asubuhi. Okay, tunaanza saa ngapi? Ah samoa watu angali waangali na We can do 10. Or... Okay, maombi inaanza 9:30. Okay. Saa 3 na nusu tukuje. Hakuna kukaa kwa viti hapa, tunakaa kwa virago, tunatafuta Bwana. We'll si, si prophecy imetoka imesema mtafute. Msitoende kwa action. Yeah, Juu Mungu akona tuambia kwa tubu. Ana tukemea, ana tukemea, tukemea, tunarudia kunyumba, hatutende kitu, tufanye we kitu. Do, we don't take action. Mimi nitakuwa nakuja. Maombi nine niko hapa. At nine I'll be here. Tunatafuta uso wa Bwana tunaomba, tunaomba. Na nina mambo kuna experience maombi mkuje tuungane tutafute uso wa Bwana. Tuone kama tunaweza ku change something. And see if we can change something. Bwana asifiwe. So tukienda kwa kuhusu maombi. If we go uh, with prayer. Biblia nasema katika Marko. The Bible says in Marko. I mean Mark, sorry. Mark. Kitabu cha Marko inasema hivi. The book of Mark says Marko 11:24. Mark 11:24. Inasema hivi. He says this. Ndio maana nawaambia. I tell you. Kiyote mnacho kitaka. You can pray for anything. I can I can try different uh, version. Tafuta nani? NIV. NIV ama ACV. Chochote kile mnachokitamani. Therefore I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer. Ukienda kwa version ya Naweza ni ACV inasema chochote ambacho una desire. Lakini ndio tafsiri yenye mama alitupatia pale chochote kila ambacho unataka kwa kuomba amini umekipata na kitatendeka. Yaani maombi yako inabidi uende na desire. Kwa kinyo unataka. You need to go with a desire. Yaani usikuje tu mbele ya Mungu unaomba. Unasema kwa lugha, unaomba, unaomba na kuna kile ambacho unataka. And you don't have the, a desire. Ndio maana Bwana anasema unaomba lakini amupate kwa sababu mnaomba ovyo ovyo. Maombi yetu yanapaswa kuwa unapaswa kuwa na kinyo unataka to come with a desire. Na ni kile ambacho Mungu atakutendea. That's what the Lord would do for you. Nikienda katika kitabu ya Matendo wa Mitume. If I go in the book of Acts. Matendo wa Mitume 12. Acts 12. Samani mimi niko hapa na Biblia ya Kifaransa. I have a French Bible. Ndio niliona nikibeba Kiswahili itakuwa ikinikoroga kiasi. It will if I take Swahili it will, it will be confused. Biblia nasema kwa muda ule Uh, the Bible says uh, it was about this time. To some pal. Eh kuanzia verse yake ya kwanza. Ah acha tusome ni kitabu cha matendo ya mitume 12. Ukianza um mstari wa kwanza inasema. Ilikuwa wakati kama huu. It was about this time that the king Mfalme Herodi Agrippa aliwakamata baadhi ya watu wa kanisa. Akaamuru Yakobo ndugu yake Yohana auawe kwa upanga. Alipo na jambo hilo limewapendeza Wayahudi akaendelea akamkamata pia Petro. Hii ilitokea wakati wa sikukuu ya mikate isiyoti wachachu. Baada ya kumkamata alimtia gerezani chini ya ulinzi wa vikundi vinne vya askari, vyenye askari wane kila mmoja. Herode alikuwa amekusudia ame kumtoa na kumfanya ma, na kumfanyia mashtaka mbele ya watu baada ya Pasaka. Kwa hiyo Petro akawekwa aka, aka gerezani lakini kanisa lilikuwa likimwombea kwa Mungu kwa bidii. Amen. Usiku ule 
usiku ule hapo. usiku ule kabla ya siku ambayo Herodi Agrippa alikuwa amekusudia kumtoa na kumfanyia mashtaka Petro alikuwa amelala kati ya askari wawili akiwa amefungwa kwa minyororo miwili nao walinzi wa zamu walikuwa wakilinda penye lango la gereza ghafla malaika wa, wa Bwana akatokea na nuru ikamulika uh, mle gere, ndani ya gereza yule malaika akampiga Petro ubavuni na kumwa, na kumwamsha akisema ondoka upesi mara ile minyororo ikaanguka kutoka mikono, mikononi mwa Petro amina amen hapa kanisa la Bwana lilikuwa under attack here the church of god was under attack alama ya kwanza mas ishara ya kwanza ya kuonesha kwamba maisha yako iko under attack that shows that your life is under attack ni wakati vitu ya Mungu haikuvutie tena it's when the things of god don't attract you unaanza kuona vitu ya Mungu tu kawaida you start seeing the things of god as ile ni picha hiyo ni ishara kwanza maisha yako tayari wachawi wanaanza kukukuta that shows that uh, your life is under attack ya pili the, fir- the second maombi yako ikiaombe tena you don't pray anymore ya tatu the third thing unaanza rudilia ule uzambi wenye ulikuwa kaushakashinda you start going back to the small sins that you had already conquered ulikuwa kaushakashinda kale ka tabia kanaanza kurudia kawaida kawaida you had already conquered that behavior maisha yako iko under attack know that your life ile attack utakuja kuona anakuja kupiga watoto yako ma accidents zinatokea vile vinakuja kutokea baadaye All those things comes after. Lakini anaanza kitu kidogo ndio ile wanakwambia kama mtu anataka kupata ile heart attack, anataka kupata. That's what they say when someone is about to have a heart attack. Kuna kwa kazi signal, kuna kwa kazi ishara kidogo kidogo. Zenye kama unatunza mapema unaweza kujiokoa kwa hiyo attack, heart attack. That that you can prevent it. Yaani unaweza kujiokoa na magonjwa ya moyo kwa sababu kuna kwaka kuna uhalama fulani fulani unaanza kutokea unaanza sikia mishale mishale unasikia vitu yani inaenda inabidi uende kwa hospital mapema na wanaweza lakini kama unakuja kuchelewa watapasua roho yako mzima na pengine utarudi pengine utapona Mungu asifiwe sababu tuko Cleveland kuna hiyo hospitali kubwa sana Mungu anaweza kuwatumia ni sawa lakini but unaweza pia kupotelea katika hiyo sometimes you can even be lost sasa ni hivyo hivyo pia kiroho wakati shetani kunataka kukula maisha yako kabla vitu ikifika tuone wamekata mguu yako sababu ulifanya ajali buna njeka tu kidogo kidogo i start slowly bwana sifiu praise god kama kuna ule buma kitu kitu kuja hapa If you have those Lasima tukue hapa na mimi nashukuru sana kwa sababu watu wanajitokeza. Tutatafuta Mungu hapa na tutamuona. Tutatafuta Mungu na tutamuona. Bila ile maushuda zetu za za huko Kenya, Uganda, wapi tukua katukiona tutaziona hapa maisha watu tutakuwa change, maisha watu tutakuwa transform, wagonjwa watapona, viwete watatembea, mabubu wataongea, tutaona mkono wa Mungu na watu watajua hapa kuna Mungu. And people will know that here there is a God. Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. Kanisa la Mungu lilikuwa limepigwa vita. The church of God was under attack. Kiwango mtume wa Mungu mtume apostle, apostle, apostle Jacob. Oh, no. Jacob. No. James. James. Yeah. Sorry. James, James was killed. James ni Jacob kwa Kiswahili lakini mu French wanaita Jacques. Jacques. Haleluya. Amen. Wakakamata Jacques, wakakamata Jacob. James waka muua waka and they, muchinja and they they killed him kanisa la mungu church of god kanisa walikuwa washaingia mu distraction the church was distracted hawako naomba tena they were not praying anymore wakati waliona maiti inaanguka pa when they saw the the dead body mtume iko chini amelazwa the apostle down ule akaona wanapendezwa na watu wa, watu wa mjini imagine mtume amekufa mji wote na furahia yani ile kanisa ilikuwa imepoteza hata kibali is, is happy that means that church was lost akaona hili jambo ni la maana niende kamata sasa ule mwenye Yesu alisema kanakupa ufunguo akaenda kuchukua pia petro he went and took peter ili amfanyishie lile lile lakini kesho yake so that he can do the same thing but the next day Biblia inasema The Bible says Kanisa the church wakaomba prayed into That was the game church Pale njoo kwenye vitu vilibadilikia Biblia inasema Kanisa waka 
the Bible says the church prayed and seek the presence of God seek the kingdom of God when they were seeking God in, in prayers things started Maombi inaweza kubadilisha vitu. Maombi inaweza kufungua milango yenye imefungwa. Biblia inasema kwamba wakati alikuwa pale malaika wakasuka ili wakuje kufanya kazi. Maombi yako ina pia malaika nguvu. Malaika wana nguvu bila maombi. The angels don't have any power while you pray. You are the one who has to be doing things so they can operate. Wakati wa Danieli, Biblia inasema Danieli alikuwa bado Maombi jibu yake Mungu ameituma. Lakini jibu imefungwa na mapepo kule. Hapa mapepo zinakaa hapa. Maombi, yani maombi yes Mungu ashatuma jibu lakini imefungwa na malaika wa nguvu. But it was locked with Maroa wale walikuwa wamefunga maombi. Lakini Danieli ye akaelelea kupiga prayer. 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 Wiki ya kwanza, wiki ya pili. Baka vente yeju. To, to the 21st week. Imagine if he stopped from seven, the seventh day. The answer would have never came. But he prayed to, till his soul. That's the next level. Thanks God to pray mpaka nione ule bebe wangu wabana tarajia until I see the baby that I'm expecting mpaka nione ule I stand in prayer sitoki hapa Musa kasema bwana sitoka kama utaenda nasi sitoki mpaka nione utukufu wangu mpaka mungu akashuka mbinguni akasema maombi ya ujamaa imekuwa mkali sana akamwambia hauwezi kuona uso wangu na ukaishi nitakupatia neema ya kuona hata mgongo yangu na Mungu akamuonesha mgongo yake akapita pale so show him his back and his yani, maombi inaweza kushusha Mungu na Mungu anafanya kinyaezi prayer can come down can can make god come down and do things that wakati kanisa walianza kuompa malaika kaenda ndani ya gereza Petro alikuwa amelala amelala lakini maombi ikamuamusha ule haleluya maombi wakati tunaisimamisha hapa kwenye madhabao hata wale wenye walikuwa wamelala wataamushwa biblia inasema wakampiga petro akamka the bible says that the angel walked na lipo amuka hiyo minyororo yenyewe ikafanya nini when he woke up those chains were loose malaika akamwambia ni time ya kutoka haiko tena mahali ya kushi hapa biblia inasema lipo amuka the bible says when he left akaanza kutoka and he started walking mlango ya kwanza ikafanya nini the first door ikajifu Yesu ni yule yule jana leo na hata milele. Anaweza kufungula milango kwenye aziko. Mulango ikafunguka. Nini nifungua milango? Maombi. That open the door is prayers. Bwana sifiwe. Praise God. Masomo yako bila maombi haikupitishwa. Your studies without prayer is kuamkea yako pale ku company bila maombi utakuja mwisho wa mwaka unazikuta sand dollar njoo kuna mu account lakini wakutumia hiyo nani yako sheki nani yako ya kuonesha income yako ya mwaka 25000 dollar ukiangalia ku account sand dollar when you saw your you want to see your phone case 1000 we need to go in another dimension we need to go into lazima tuende kwenye viwango vingine mimi nimechoka na hivi viwango vya kawaida hivi i'm so tired with this kind of life i had to go to the next level I need to go mimi napasha kwenda ku dimension alipofika pale akafika mlango ya kwanza imefunguka ya pili imefunguka ya tatu imefunguka ni posa kaelewa ya kwamba hii si maono ni ukweli alikuwa anafikiri kwa kwa ndoto wakati maombi itasimama ndani ya kanisa vitu vingine vya tukua na tarajia tutaanza kuviona ndani ya kanisa tutaona milango wale wangali Afrika inafunguka wanakucha kwa sababu kuna prayer na prayer Zetu, because we pray zitaenda gusa kule kwa immigration na chakula pray, our prayers will touch immigration unaona paka watu wanakutumia barua ule mume wako mke wako ambaye kwa Afrika another dimension ingine dimension haleluya ndio kwenye Mungu anataka tufike na Petro alipofika pale malaika akapotea and when peter got Petro there the angel maombi akafika kule 
Dada Roda alikuwa pale dada anaitwa Roda alikuwa the, the, uh, alikuwa uh, msimama kwenye mlango Roda was on the door at the door Na pale ndio mimi nasema watu wanasema mbona ule mwenye anakaa kwa mlango anakuwa kunaangalia nje watu wakiomba na Roda pia alikuwa anafanya hiyo kazi yeah. Yeni yeye alikuwa akiangalia yeah, uh, alikuwa the, the, kwa maombi lakini akiangalia pia nje Yaani sio zambi kuna vasi ambaye inatetea hiyo Yaani unaweza kuwa kwenye mlango huko naomba lakini na huko nafuata pia vile vinaendelea Watu walikuwa wakiomba lakini Roda alikuwa pia akiomba lakini akiangalia akasikia mtu amepiga kwa mlango koko koko heard someone knock akuja kufungua and op- and she opened the door akaona mtu akufana na petro and she saw someone who looks just like petro peter petro is kwa hapa peter can i be here akasema akafunga mlango and close the door sasa <laughs> si ulikuwa naombea petro akue si njoo petro na you were praying for peter to come here and Mungu when you see him ataenda kufanya vitu mu maisha yako god is going to do things in your life you will not i don't believe even yourself you will not believe i don't believe this is truth tasema siamini kama ni kweli mlango and she opened the door na akaenda mpaka akafunga aka mlango na kaenda huko kwa Paulo alikuwa anaongoza ibada who was who was uh who was leading the prayer malaika wa petro amefika hapa petro akaendelea kupiga the, the angel of peter is here akamuingiza ndani they they let him in akawaelezea kile ambacho mungu alifanya and he testified what the lord did kwa hiyo story what changed the story ilikuwa ni maombi is prayer vifunguo vingine naona sita vigusia na malizia kwa kifungo ya tatu. Uh, it seems like I won't be able to touch on other keys of Roho talk about the third key is the Holy Spirit. Roho mtakatifu. The Holy Spirit. Haleluya. Amen. Roho mtakatifu. The Holy Spirit. Ndio kifungu ya tatu. Is the third key. Ambaye itakupeba kwenye kiwango chingine. That will take you to the next dimension. Yaani usiano wako na roho your relationship with the holy spirit ndio itakubeba is the one is the one that would take you kwa kiwango kingine to the next level wapendwa katika bwana beloved in christ roho mtakatifu the holy spirit ni mungu is god roho mtakatifu the holy spirit ni mtu is a person Haleluya. Amen. Si mtu kama mimi, yani it's not, it's not a person as a human being. Huyo Roho Mtakatifu, this Holy Spirit, sio nguvu, is is not power. Lakini analeta nguvu. But he brings power. Roho Mtakatifu, the Holy Spirit, sio moto, is not fire. Lakini analeta moto. But he brings the fire. Roho Mtakatifu, the Holy Spirit, ni, ni Mungu mzima. Is God. Roho Mtakatifu, the Holy Spirit, anaweza kuhuzunika, can be said Roho mtakatifu the holy spirit anaweza kufurahi can be happy haleluya amen roho mtakatifu the holy spirit ndio mungu pamoja nasi leo is the god among us tuko ndani ya dispersion ama muda wa roho mtakatifu we are in a time of the holy spirit kuna kuna ile wakati wa mungu baba there is the time of the god the father agano la kale in the old testament wakati wa Yesu Kristo the time of Jesus Christ ni wakati ile miaka 3 ambayo alifanya huduma is, a, is the time of the, of the period of na muda ambao tunaishi hii and is the moment we are living ni muda wa roho mtakatifu is the time of the holy spirit wapendwa katika bwana beloved in christ rafiki wako your best friend ambayo unabidi ufanye u, 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 mwenye ana, a, anafaa kuwa rafiki wako the one that is supposed to be your best friend Roho mtakatifu. Is the Holy Spirit. Ndio maana Ben Hinn akasema hivi. Mhubiri Ben Hinn akasema hivi. Ben Hinn said. Unapoamka kabla usalimie yote. Before you greet anyone. Mwambie good morning Holy Spirit. Say good morning Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit is a person. Kwa sababu Roho mtakatifu ni mtu. Anakusikia. He he Listen. Leo nilipokuwa nikiomba usiku. Today when I was praying at night. Nikamsikia yule roho. I heard the Holy Spirit. Na nikaanza kuongea na yeye. And I started speaking to him. Na nikaanza kumwambia roho. And I started telling him. Nataka nikuone katika ibada yetu. I want to see you in today's. Nataka nikuone katika viwango vingine. In today's service in a different dimension. Tumechoka na kuwa na ibada. We are tired of having. Ile tu ndio ibada ibada. 
Mwaka 2023 wametangaza moving to into the next level. Tunataka tupande viwango na wewe na tutavipanda na tumeanza kuvipanda na leo kuna alama imeonekana tunapanda viwango vingi. Nuka kwenye miguu yako. Stand up on your feet. Na mwambie Bwana. And tell God. Something. Thank you. Mwambie Mungu jambo. Tell God hi. Thank you for your. Kitu ya kwanza nimewaambia. The first thing I told you. You need to desire. Unapaswa kutamani. Kutaka. You need to desire. Panda viwango vingine. To go to the next level. Kamata uamuzi. Take the decision. Ya kwamba ninaenda kuanza kuomba. I'm going to start praying. Yaani siwezi fanya dolote. I can't do anything. Nikiamuka When I wake up hata nikiwa kama mnamkanga mina niende kwa dushi ili niende kazini unaanza kwanza na maombi lakini prayer. mchana mzima isipite kama hauna hata third minute ambao utakuwa wewe peke yako na Mungu that you have just you and God ukamata ile kiwango take the dimension or that decision ya kusema hata maombi ya siku ya sita that even the saturday prayer nitakuwa nikikuja hapa i'll be coming here ninachua shetani ataleta usaifu ndani mwako i know the devil will bring shetani atakwambia unachoka the devil will say shetani anaweza atakuleta baridi nyingi sana hiyo siku the devil can bring lakini sema roho wa mungu nipe nguvu say holy spirit give me the ningie katika maombi to go into prayer hata usaifu utakuja wakati unajua tunaenda kuchokoza shetani you know when you going to bag him ataleta vitu nyingi sana he will bring a whole lot of distractions so that that program can happen but take the kamata atoa the decision and, 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 and tell the holy spirit to help lakini roho atakusaidia kulingana na uamuzi wako mwambie bwana inua sauti yako katika jina la yesu kristo Inua sauti yako wapendwa. Sisi hivi ndio tunaweza kuomba. Tuombe kama watu wazima. Tuombe kama watu ambao wana Roho Mtakatifu ndani mwao. Tuombe kama watu ambao wanahitaji wamechoka. Kind of Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Nina kuitaji mfalme wa ajabu. Nina kuitaji Mungu wa Israeli. Naitaji unipebe kwenye viwango vingine. Viwango vyangu katika mahusiano na Roho Mtakatifu. Viwango vingine katika fellowship with the Holy Spirit. I need to be in that fellowship. Robo shaka. nitafute bwana kabla nitafute majumba nikutafute bwana i need you jesus baba nakuhitaji maisha yangu akutaji bwana asante yesu
Holy Spirit, Ro Pwana to the Pinoa. Ro, oh dear Bwana, oh dear Baba, oh dear Rafiki, oh dear the Paracletos of God. Oh, the Son of God. Thank you, Lord. If you're sick, touch where you feel. You feel sick. There is a healing. There is a presence of God to heal the sick. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Haizuru jina ya magonjo. Iyo magonjo imekamu da mrefu Leo tunayamuru itoke Leo tunayamuru itoke Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Resa sosika mana katoshe pekete Tunayamuru ikatoke saizi Katika jina la Yesu Bwana anakukusa uwa mbani mgonjo Kuna magonjo ambayo imekaa ndani ya mwili wako siku za kutosha. Kuna magonjo ambayo madaktari hawaone njia ya kukusaidia. Lakini uwepo wa Mungu iko hapa kukusaidia. Uwepo wa Mungu the presence of God is here to heal you. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana kusa pale kwenye daktari hawezi kufika. Baba tengeneza vilivyo aribika katika mwili. Tengeneza vile ambavyo adu ya liaribisha katika ile mwili The great healer The great physicians Pwana Yesu wamba ni mponyaji Kusa pale, pale, pale ambako adu ya mearibu Kusa pale pwana, ponya Yesu Kristo Ponya Yesu Kristo Ponya Yesu Kristo Katika jina la Yesu Katika jina la Yesu Waro ya magonjo toka Toka chilia Achilia maisha ui dada Achilia maisha ui mama Achilia maisha ui baba Achilia maisha ui kijana Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Sante Yesu Wana yale magonjo ya migu Halo sakata bakasha Katika jina la Yesu Natangaza uponyaji katika iyo migu Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Uponyaji katika iyo migu Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord Jesus Thank you Holy Spirit Asante kwa kazi ya mboku na udumia watu wako saizi Asante Yesu Kristo Asante Asema buwana wa majeshi Nitalifanya jambo jipia katika maisha yako Nitalifanya jambo jipia Thank you Lord Kama ukinitafuta Utanipata Thank you Holy Spirit We bless your name and we glorify your name Who is like you Jesus Thank you for your work Thank you for your praises 
thank you for your manifestation thank you for glorifying the name of Jesus among us thank you for healing your people thank you for delivering your people Holy Spirit thank you for speaking to us to the prophecy to the message Lord we give you all the glory Holy Spirit today and forever in Jesus mighty name Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.